Hey guys, welcome back to the stream. Glad you guys could drop in today. Um, we're going to keep going with the Burning Shores. It's been a couple days since we did the first stream. Um, a lot of people enjoyed that, so I'm excited to jump back into it. Um, let me just get my sorcery cord going here. Okay. Uh, Eric, you enjoyed the tips video? Glad to hear that. Put a lot, I put a lot of work into that. I've between, I'm sure some of you are in the same situation, between playing and working on that video, um, I haven't had a lot of sleep in the last few days. So, but I, I was pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, so what I wanna do today, as I mentioned in my new video, the I've actually, I've played off stream. So I've finished the main storyline at this point um, on a different save and the main story is very good, but it's also pretty short. So I think I really want to focus on doing a lot of side content before we get, um, you know, I don't want to just bat blast through the main story. So there's a couple things I want to show you guys tips that uh, actually one of the tips I picked up from people commenting in my video this morning. Um, I think I actually missed a coil earlier when we did that f that first boss fight. Yeah, Peppino, I'll show my loadout in a second here. I changed my coils up a little bit since the last stream. And uh, I'm gonna change my Valor Surge here as well. But I think in the excitement of, of playing last time, I forgot to loot this, this drone up here. Yeah. So this guy's got a legendary coil, a defense drone, an elite critical hit chance coil, or elite critical hits. So what that actually does is, let's take a look. It increases critical hit chance by 15%, but also the damage by 15%. So it's like a combo of those two, which is really cool. Now the tip here is not just that it's it's there, obviously, I just forgot to loot it, but if you, people have been saying, if you loot this before you talk to Seika to finish the quest, um, you can get a copy. And then if you talk to her and go back to loot it again, you can get a second copy. So I didn't do that, obviously. Um, and I didn't even know that to try that on my other save file. So I don't have two copies, but it's definitely worth trying if you haven't gotten to this point yet. Hey, Gabriel, glad you could make it here. Rana, good to see you too. Um, we're just checking out, I forgot to loot a coil here. The critical hit, the critical chance coil. And apparently you can get two if you loot one before you talk to Seika and then loot it again after you talk to her. Um, the other thing people have been telling me, which I haven't tested yet, I wanna test it right now, is that they did actually add the ability to craft to the stash, apparently. And I'm just so in the habit of not doing that, that I haven't even tried it. Um, I just never like max out my ammo because you used to waste resources by doing that. So I'm gonna go try that right now at a shelter and see what happens. Kaz, what did I think of the final boss fight? It's. It's like the most cinematic boss fight I've ever seen in a game. It's really cool. I'm excited to get to it on stream here with you guys. John, glad you're enjoying the, the walkthrough. Glad to hear that. Um, actually, let me check my stash. We'll do a test here. What do I need to craft? So like I need to craft some drill spikes. I only have 15 here, but I typically wouldn't do that because I'd waste resources on the extra three. So let's see how many drill spikes are in my stash. I don't think there's any in here, which means it'll be a good test. Yeah. So now if I craft this in my inventory, actually, let me make a quick save so we can reload if we have to. So I'm gonna craft these drill spikes and I get three in my inventory. Oh, and then yeah, you see there on screen, pouch full, sent to your stash, three drill spikes. 
So, are they here? Yeah. Sweet. So if you overcraft now, you can, uh, it just goes to your stash. And let's just double check and make sure it works at the workbench as well. You guys enjoyed the video today? I appreciate that. Glad you liked it. Okay, so we're back to 15 drill spikes. I'm going to craft them on the workbench this time. Six were crafted. Obviously, three go to my inventory. Let's make sure three ended up in the stash. Yeah, Nihal, I saw they, uh, you can't put a certain, uh, you can't get 12 smoke bombs anymore in your inventory, it seems like. You used to be able to put certain outfits on that had the perk for smoke bomb capacity, craft them, and then switch to a different outfit and keep all 12, but you can't do that anymore. So yeah, it looks like the drill spikes are here. So that's pretty sweet. Um, we can just not worry about it and overcraft. Um, obviously, I'd want to be doing this at a workbench to conserve resources. That's pretty nice. So let's just get stocked up here. And then I want to... Uh, if you guys haven't seen flying up in the clouds yet, I want to do that first because there's actually a pretty cool thing that we can do um, by visiting a storm cloud. So we'll do that real quick. I also want to do the relic ruin today and hopefully the cauldron we'll have time for as well. Like I was saying before, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to rush the main quest on this stream because the main quest series is pretty short. Um, it's good, but it's pretty short. So I want to do as much side ten content as we possibly can to kind of make this last longer. Kaz, did I like Frozen Wilds or Burning Shores more? I think it's too early for me to say still. Um, I think they're both going to kind of have their own unique feel, though. So this is a storm cloud up here. We'll go fly through some normal clouds first, because you can go really high. So like these clouds up here that look like they're just up at the top of the rendering, you can just go up there and fly through them, which is pretty sweet. And then you've got the storm cloud over there. You guys can probably see what's hanging out in there. Let's see what happens when we go over. It's pretty interesting. Uh, Trotical Tropic, yes. I, you mean the hunter training bow? I did see that. I have it. I did a video on how to get that. So this is pretty sweet, right? You can fly through these clouds like just like real. It looks very realistic. Hey, Sky Preacher Man, thanks for the super. Appreciate that. And then you've got these storm clouds. That's a big storm. It's only over that island. I've never seen that before. I could get a closer look from the sky. Carefully. Is that a stormbird? So we're gonna dive in here. fly around a little bit to get it to to trigger, I think. There he is. Um, Kager 
Schwinn, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Everybody gets the Sky Hammer. It's part of a main quest. You loot it in a main quest. That Stormbird's headed into the clouds. I could track it with my focus. So you get this prompt. That Stormbird's behaving erratically. I think it's seeding the clouds somehow. I don't, I don't think you can avoid this. Um, I think that's kind of what's meant to happen. Frozen because I have the new legendary um, frost coil on this bow, and it has an instant chance to trigger frost. So I got lucky there a little bit, getting him frosted. Of course, he landed super far away, and I can't see the cannon. Knockdown is pretty clutch. I could grapple for a big hit. There we go. And the Apex ones don't have frost canisters, do they? I think they're. Yeah, they're corrosive, I think. women. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> I wish they had changed that. Whoops. I also think it's unavoidable. It turned, it turned to night when I did this in my other save as well. So I think it's unavoidable. Like, you get a thunderstorm and it turns really dark. This, when you get this event happening, which which makes sense, you know. Uh, let's get another drill spike on him. Uh. 
Get knocked down, dude. Where is he? Oh. I think we tried. <laughs> We triggered the knockdown super high. Oh, I missed that one. that shredder actually Wasted those frost arrows. Stormbird discharged a lot of energy. Some of its components are busted. Might have caused it to malfunction. It's a good thing this place is deserted. Could have caused some real damage. All right, so that's what happens if you go to a storm cloud. Now, in my other save, I only found one so far. But I assume they must respawn. Because being able to do that only once would be kind of lame, huh? So... I'll have to keep an eye out. Let's make it daytime. Nihal, you didn't find any other storm clouds? Hmm. I hope they're... I hope they respawn. That'd be kind of lame. Maybe it takes a certain amount of time for them to come back. Seems like you guys are saying you didn't find any respawns either. I don't know why they wouldn't, you know, like, it's not like you get some crazy weapon from it or anything. Maybe it's a bug if they don't respawn. Maybe they're supposed to. Jim, did I notice the new spike thrower has knockdown power? Um, yeah, I did. It's pretty sweet. We're probably going to get that this stream. So my rule for myself, guys, with the gear, I'm using all purple, including the outfit. But my rule for myself here is I can use new stuff, like any new legendaries if I get them. So like I have this elite frost coil on my Seeker Hunter bow. That's how we got that instant riddle proc on the Stormbird. And I think I have, yeah, the elite knockdown on my spike thrower, which I'm pretty sure I purchased. Pretty sure I bought that one. So now we have uh, 
increases critical hit chance and damage. Actually, I'm gonna, so this I changed. I was using long range coils on here. I'm gonna keep this on concentration. Concentration is just more flexible. And then on the warrior bow, I'm gonna put this elite critical hit coil. That's how I'll use that for now. But eventually I think that'll go on my sharp shot bow. Cause I like, on a legendary, I like five critical hit chance coils. Um, so let's, let's do the relic ruin. I think that's kind of what I want to do right now. I believe it's right here. Oh yeah. So what's, what sucks about these Stormbird encounters is you, you like, I think you almost definitely lose your sunlight. Um, which sucks. I know there's some somewhere up here though so we can go get a new one that's gonna take a minute because we didn't unlock it I'll put this to good use uh Pepino I'm using only very rare weapons because I'm just trying to add a little bit more of a challenge I think it would be a little too easy if I went full legendary Just trying to give myself a little more of a challenge. <laughs> Kelvin, green gear on ultra hard is a challenge, that's for sure. It's almost boring though, like it, it would just take so long to kill things. Stormbird, and then we'll head to the Relic Ruins. Hey, Baron. Good to see you here. Oh, I guess I could have called my now. Not sure why I have a Bristleback. Also a collectible here. It looks like some kind of relic. But how do I get to it? Of all the places that I bought for Evelyn, this was her favorite. The one she truly made her own. Can't say I ever liked it. A thousand years on, I feel like I can still smell her horrid little Shiba Inu. <laughs> um, we need a Sunwing to do that. So we'll grab one of these guys first. Gojira, if you explore the island where we fought the Stormbird, you can pick up something that activates the aerial capture activity. Oh, that's interesting. I'll have to check that out. Thanks for sharing that. figurine looks like it was part of the set and there's data here too i'll just hold on to it for now all 
right, let's go to the Relic Ruin. Set. Quick question, under the activity section in the Burning Shores progression screen, the third activity is supposed to be the outposts. Let me look. Oops. Um, I don't remember what it says on my other save. It could be the Delver camps. So there's like kind of it's kind of like a secret side quest in a way. Actually, I think there's one over here. We're going to pass, but there's seven Delver camps that, um, yeah, here's one. We'll go check it out. It's kind of a series of little mini quests, and you get a hint from each of the items that are left here. An abandoned camp. These Osirim might have come here to delve, but machines got to them. I'm not going to read through all this, especially because this one is like, this guy can't spell or write. Um, but they give you a hint as to where, like, you can find something. So for this one, I've done this one. I haven't done them all yet on my other save. But we head up here. Hey, Kelvin, thanks. I'm glad you uh, enjoy my videos and and my gameplay. T say this is um so I'm continuing the playthrough that I had started on my first stream the other day, but between then and now, I actually completed the main missions and a bunch of side content on another save. take my own advice here if you guys have seen my new video chain burst is pretty clutch here in the burning shores with all these multiple enemy fights So you, if you guys didn't know, Chain Burst does chain elemental damage, so you can see I'm freezing both of them right now, which is pretty sweet. That was a good a shot in the eye. And we got them both dead there. 
See, that's why I really think Chain Burst is going to become my go-to here. Because, I mean, that was just three enemies, and I've had fights with, like... I mean, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit saying it feels like a dozen, but it's, like, definitely at least eight. You know? So... Yeah, um, one of the activities, guys, like Brianna's saying, is there's new arena challenges. So once you finish the main quests here in the Burning Shores, you just have to finish the main quest. You don't have to finish everything. This equipment's been abandoned. But once you finish the time. main quests, um, awesome. there's there's a new tier of champion level delving, arena challenges that unlock, and that counts as Burning Shores progress. Um, and actually, the rewards are some pretty sweet, like it's elite coils and brimshine which is uh, the unique resource here. So if you're unable to find enough Brimshine to like buy and upgrade things, you might need to do the arena challenges. Gojira, um, I didn't stop it before it depleted. I wish you could, but you can't. What happened there is I was gaining Valor. You gain Valor like while you're using a... Come on, Aloy. Going. Oh, I did that wrong. That's my fault. We have to go down here. Um, while you're using a Valor Surge, you can still gain Valor, and it's like a separate log or a separate uh, meter, sort of. Like, it's logging it differently than the Valor you're you're, lo you're using. So the Valor that I was using ended, but I had built up enough Valor to be able to trigger it again. Um, so that's what went on there. But when you trigger it, when you trigger Valor, when it's not fully... Um, holy cow, it's snowing here where I live. <laughs> it's almost May. Come on. Um, when you trigger Valor, like if I trigger my Valor right now, because I only have a little bit, I'll only get the tier one level of this Valor. So I'll only get, whoops, I'll only get chain damage 50%. So if I want the full, I need to wait until the meter is basically full. <laughs> Jedi, you're downloading. There's an update already for Burning Shores. I'm going to check that out right after this. We can... I don't know if I'll update on stream, but... I'll check to see if there is one. Is it 1.22? I would imagine it's just like minor hot fixes for bugs and stuff. I have noticed some like pop-in and graphical issues. Also audio issues. Like sometimes the audio will bug out and sound really like crunchy or just like completely go quiet forgot we have to whoops what is this stuff called by the way is it still fire gleam unstable fire gleam so we have to shoot that fire gleam, but unstable slightest impact should set it off Jedi, it's 1.21. So that was the patch you needed to be able to install Burning Shores. It, it like patches your base game, which enables you to install Burning Shores. So I don't, that's not new. I mean, it's new, but it's not, it's not anything beyond being able to start Burning Shores. I talked about like some of the settings changes and other stuff that the 1.21 patch adds in my new video. Flask. So one of the things you seem to always get when you do these um, Delver camps is a little bit of a rim shine at the end. Delver was lured here. He and his crew were searching for the old hollow. I guess the Osram didn't clear the whole cave out. 
So she said they're, they were searching for the gold hollow there. So I'm pretty sure when you finish all seven of those camps, you get like a big cache of Rimshine, but I haven't found it yet. I haven't done all seven. The Relic Ruin is, yes, I think that's where we're going. Three Mile, do I think the new update might fix the CE crashing bug some players are experiencing? I don't know what that bug is. I'm sorry, your your game just crashes like all the time. Have you installed 1.21 yet? You should try that. I think it's coming from it. inside that ruin. Someone else came across this ruin. Camp looks awesome. So there's a few entrances to this place. There's a door down there we have to deal with. It's also sort of a door up here. I feel like that's an audio glitch too. Like I just picked up that pale bloom flower, but it made like the canister pickup sound. Like watch this. Oh shit. <laughs> Here, listen when I pick up this flower. See, it makes like the canister sound. I can't be right. Uh, basic, no. The item duplication glitch does not still work because infinite jumps got patched out. A lot of train cars. What was this place? Should have power now. Another ornament. Gotta find a way to get to it. Story that's kind of uh, woven into this relic ruin, like the, the historic data points and everything. And you'll hear this audio here that's playing like on loop when we get closer to that door. It's uh. It's a good story. I mean, it's it's sad, but it's good. All right, we should be able to get to the whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, Aloy. Oh, that was close. I mean, tell me she wouldn't well, run out the back of this not thing. My way anymore? What's that sound? Cassette, how did I go without avoiding spoilers? Um, I just hammered through the whole thing. <laughs> I haven't slept a whole lot between playing and making my video that I posted this morning. Hello? Is that someone out there? 
All right, here we go. Help would be greatly appreciated. Sit tight. I'll find a way in. Can't really make out what you're saying, but thank you. I think. Just. In the meantime, I shall patiently await your return. That voice sounds familiar. Your expedience would, of course, be appreciated, but I'm happy to wait. You guys know who it is, right? You've got some data here. According to this data, might be a code upstairs. So we need to go upstairs. No way this elevator is moving. Now, I have to admit to you guys, um, I tried to find a way to climb up this, but I think you just have to use the sun wing, because I could not find a way to climb up it. But if you guys did, let me know. Because I'm curious if you have to use the sun wing, or if you can climb. I mean, it has a landing perch location, so I think, oops, I have to actually use it here. Like, I think you have to because you have one of these hatches. It wouldn't really make sense to climb it and fall suddenly. Vishal, you're enjoying the playthrough? Glad to hear that. You don't have to use the th sun wing to get up. There is a legit climbing path. I didn't find it. <laughs> There's data here. This data might help. One, three, one, five. Uh, uh, TH list. So, uh, did I get the pre order outfit on item and weapon? I didn't. Um, I got a review code, and weirdly enough, it does come with the pre-order items, which I'm kind of salty about. Uh, I did email Sony, or PlayStation rather. I have somebody there that helped me get the review code, and she's she's really, really nice. Um, but she hasn't responded to me yet. But I've heard the, the Black Tide Quen Commander is pretty much, it's exactly the same stats as the Quen Commander. It's just that it comes with the Black Tide die. Guys. And then I've heard the Black Tide Sharp Shot Bow isn't as good as Regala's Wrath anyway. So I'm not too upset about those items, although I honestly would, I'd like to have the Black Tide die. Because I'd like to use that on other Quen outfits. Got another ornament. I should give this to Stemmer the next time I see him. So, oddly enough, I do not have the pre-order items, even though I played earlier with the review code. Um, and I don't know if I'm ever going to get them. I don't know if they can send me a code or something that would let me get them. Um, to become the legendary weapons from New Game Plus, do you have to play Ultra Hard? No. You just have to play New Game Plus on any difficulty. Nihal, it's not in the store for me. I know that that is where you're supposed to get them okay, for a shark, on my way. but they're not there for me. Yeah, Rob, I hope they can hook that up too. I'm not sure if you became a member last stream or you've been a member a while. Um, I don't know if you changed your username, but 
Thanks for being a member for, I think blue means two months at least. Appreciate that. <laughs> Another fortunate swing of the hammer for old Gildan? Aloy! My flame haired Nora, my damn fixer, my second set of hands! Who'd have thought we'd meet again in such familiar circumstances? <laughs> Certainly not me. <sighs> what are you doing here? Well, now, it all started when I heard the echoes of a most peculiar voice beckoning me into this beguiling place. But I resisted. I knew this was a special delve, one I had to share, so I went and fetched my friend Olvar, who was more than willing. And where is he? Alas, we got separated when we sailed into a howling tempest on the way back here. Blew me right overboard. I floundered about in the waves, certain I'd become snap bait. But nope. The sea spat old Gildan right out onto the shore. Olvar undoubtedly thought I was a goner and pressed on, as any true delver would. I followed in his footsteps as far as I could, until I came across a door that wouldn't budge. Naturally, I searched for another means of entry. That's when I uncovered an ancient lever, tantalizing in its door-opening potential. So you pulled the lever. I pulled the lever, which <laughs> may have, upon reflection, sealed this door shut behind me. And thus do we find ourselves once again at a fortuitous meeting. Gildan's antics are definitely one of my favorite parts of the DLC. Can we step back a minute? How exactly are you here? The last time I saw you was in the dam way up north. After your departure, I wandered here and there, dabbled in a few ruins, even tried my hand at another dam out past Baron Light. But nothing could quite compare to our delve. You wandered all the way from Banuke territory to the Forbidden West? An ember in the wind, girl. That's old Gildan. And as luck would have it, I bumped into an expedition headed for the Burning Shores. Now there's an opportunity for fellowship and adventure, I thought. So I chucked my lot in with theirs, and here we are. Well, I'm not sure how you managed to get out here unscathed, but... <sighs> it's good to see you, Gildan. So if you guys didn't catch that, he said he tried his hand at a dam south of Baron Light. Outside Baron Light, something like that. That's the Hoover Dam which is what I thought would be the entrance to the DLC. It's that huge lake that's kind of an empty area of the original map. So he's been to the Hoover Dam. Um, I don't think any of that plays out here in the DLC, but maybe in a future DLC or maybe in a something else. Tell me about this Olvar guy. Our bond was forged on the road to these uncharted shores. Night after night, I relayed my previous ventures to my traveling companions. Olvar took it all in with a fascinated silence. So when we got here, we agreed to share our fortunes. The look on his face when I told him about this place. Nothing quite like the joy of a new delve shared with good company. After I fell off our boat, I searched all over for him. I was starting to think him lost when I found his camp up top. He'll be as happy as a sun-kissed Karja to find out I'm not dead. I'm sure he will. <laughs> Gildan. Okay, so let me get this straight. You think Olvar somehow managed to get deeper in the ruin? Courtesy of a handy-dandy shaft. Or, well, not so handy-dandy now that some rubble is blocked the way. Right, so if we're gonna find him, we need to find a way past that door you mentioned. We? Yes, Gildan, I will help you find Olvar. <laughs> Make sure you don't get yourself trapped again. <laughs> Marvelous! Just like old times. You with your surprising and perplexing ways. Me with my nose for danger and excitement. The door lies just ahead. After you. that walk <laughs> oh man welcome to my humble temporary abode nice place <laughs> indeed would have loved to share this discovery with Olvar 
Regrettably, I tumbled into the sea as the ruin entered our sights. Who'd imagine my joy discovering my lanterns in this tunnel? Presuming me dead, Olvar put them to good use. So resourceful. This is where they find something? Well, there's a passcode left behind by one of the old ones. January 17th. 0117. He was alone here. He broadcast the recording, hoping others would join him. Did anyone come? Not sure. I wish the uh, audio data points in this relic ruin were. I mean, I wish the data points were audio. Um, I think that would be even better. But this is a cool. It's a cool little story. Rimshine. And here I present our hinged hindrance. The finale of our grand tour. So I actually wanted to ask you guys, if anybody here's from Europe, when you play the game and you enter like dates and stuff, are they in American format? Because I'm gonna enter this as January, like one. It's January 17th, so I'm going to enter it as 117, and that's correct. But I, do they change that in Europe so that it's like 17 January? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense Finally in. <laughs> in game because we're actually in Crumbling the Western stone, United States. In game. Mildew, a Delver's dream. Looks like someone tried to blast into that room across the way. You're going? They're in American Gojira. Olvar's never been stingy on the blast paste. Okay, that's good to know. Does that trip people up sometimes? Hey, Jedi. Thanks for becoming a member. I kind of thought you already were. Either way, I, I appreciate that. Welcome. If you guys don't know we have memberships on the channel um you'll get a badge next to your name to show how long you've been a member you also get access to these chat that i just spammed or these emojis that i just spammed in the chat and also access to a, a like exclusive channel on my discord server which the chat bot is spamming the link for in the chat here so you can join us on discord you'll get kind of like a little bit of exclusive access. I try to prioritize answer, answering questions, but I'm pretty active on Discord, even if you're not a member. So, if you're on the server and you like at mention me, the old ones must have loved spending time underground to build these tunnels. I'll must pretty much always great respond. Delvers. Jedi would have been earlier. You had to change PayPal settings. Oh, yep. gotcha. This pile of rubble is definitely an Ovar special. No worries. Well, the pass blocked now. We'll have to find another way up. Appreciate you becoming a member. Um, that being we said be about move this train car. answering questions, if I haven't responded to people's DMs and stuff the past couple days, it's just because I've been so focused on playing and, uh, and making my video. So I apologize if I haven't responded to people. Can I, uh, get I some promise help? I'm not ignoring you. Anything you need. All right, let's push. Ah, the joys of locomotion. Did you hear that? Yeah, let's keep our guard up. I'll tell you, the number of delves where a crate saved my hide. Or nearly crushed it. How do you suppose they went about creating these tunnels? By hand? Blast paste? Plow horn, perhaps? I don't think they had plow horns, Gildan. Mm -hmm. Door needs a code and key module. Hang tight down there. I'll look hey, around. Alexandre, no thanks for becoming a member. Delve is free of its devilish challenges. That's awesome. I appreciate that. Membership is 99 cents a month, guys. Um, just wanted to make it as accessible as I could to people. This 
cart's blocking my path. Maybe I can find a way around it. What was that? Nothing. Could check this vent, see what I find. Best of luck! Personally, I've always been more provision at losing things and finding them. You name it, <laughs> I misplaced it. Hammers, shards, my pet crab, Garoon. I even lost my precious looking glass falling into the sea. His pet crab, Garoon. Uh, Alexandre, small token of your appreciation. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I'm glad you uh, find my content valuable. Uh, so Aloy can't push this by herself. Zach, hunting guide for those file guts? Yes. I see you haven't lost your knack for hazardous traversal. Oh! Oh, you're fine. Of course. Definitely a bile gut hunting guide is a priority for me. I think the next video will probably be like comparing all the legendary, all the new legendary gear. I think a lot of people are interested in that. Um, and hopefully that's a relatively straightforward one for me to make. Huh. Moves the elevator. Hey, Gildan, hop in. All righty. Mind sending that elevator back down for old Gildan? For old Gildan? Jedi, okay? more than worth the membership. Uh, it's safe enough. The new game plus legendary's weapon materialist is great. I'm glad you appreciate that. Actually, I what updated that with a tab of carts. for the new legendaries. Shall we get to pushing? So if you go check that same spreadsheet out right now, you can find all the upgraded um, resources for the new weapons on a different tab. And it's it's not as important, right? Because they require brimshine. So you kind of just have to play. Our old world friends left us another code. A true gentleman. I'll bet plenty of people answered his call. So I won't read through all these, but basically the story here is this guy, Ron, went crazy living in here alone in a bunker. It doesn't look um, like it. Which is sad, but it's a good story. So I would definitely recommend kind of reading through it as you play. I forgot we could pull caster that down earlier. All right, back across. Um, Swain, I'm actually doing the opposite. I want to do as much side content as I can interspersed with the main story. Like, we'll do a main quest today. Um, but I want to kind of... I don't want it to feel like it goes by too quick. And the main quests are pretty... Sh it's a pretty short series of quests. Like I was saying before, they're good, but... It's kind of short. All right, push. Oh boy, this cart's squealing worse than a boar on Smith East Sea. There's that noise again. It sounds like it's closer. Um, there are Apex. Oh, Apex Sun Wings? No. Nick, yeah, the main story is pretty short. I mean, I've played it all on my other save, and it's I, I really liked it. But, uh, oh, crap, I did this wrong. I did that the first time, too. We have to jump up on the car. So, yeah, I'm, trying, I'm just trying to do a lot of side content first, or kind of interspersed. Um, actually forget how this is supposed to work. I could use that cart on the upper floor to climb higher. Need to find a way on top of it first. Ah! Okay, maybe there's a way with less. Oh right. Falling. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we gotta put the crate in the elevator. We gotta put the lime in the coconut. Hey, 
Gildan, think you can uh, get to the elevator controls? You mean climb across? Sure. So, how did you and Olvar team up? Traveling with a caravan. Yeah, he was prickly at first. I'll be right back, I, guys. Oh, yeah, till I told him about Mum, her priceless looking glass, and how I found one just like it. He was interested in your looking glass? He's an inquisitive mind. You two will be tighter than two nuts on a boat. Ha <laughs> ha! Still got it! All right, let's give this crank a whirl. Ready to go? Yeah, so this that tripped me up the first time because I figured there's no way Gildan was climbing across, <laughs> you know? So I was like, I mean, he's not going to go do the elevator, but he does. Old Gildan. Got it done. There. I'll wait by these controls. I've had enough acrobatics for one day. Keep spawning up here next to you. Yeah, this 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 machine gun has so much ammo, dude. Like I used like half of it, and we still have 375. Crazy. Oh, we still have one here. I think that was all of them. 
Let's keep going. One step closer to Olvar. Take this marker off. Emmanuel, without spoilers, would I say the ending felt a bit forced? Uh, no. I don't feel like that. I think if it feels that way, it's just because Parting the story so is short overall. I'll save the delving for when you get back. Or it goes by quickly. A second. The door's on this side. Yeah, the new Bolt Blaster, um, I haven't played with it much yet, but it's kind of like, really, it doesn't have advanced bolts? I'm almost like, is that a mistake? Um, I don't think it is, though. Max, will I go over new coils and weaves? Um, I'll definitely talk about them. But I'll probably have a separate video on like the best the new best ways to coil every weapon. I think that's probably a good video on its own. Hey Emmanuel, thanks for the super. You kind of felt the same. Did make more sense as the dialogue went on between Aloy and Seika. You can't wait for the weapons and coils vid? Sweet. Glad you're looking forward to that. Yeah. It was it was a little quick, I think, just because the whole thing goes by quick, especially since we're all really eager to do it, right? Like we're, I mean, I could, all, a bunch of you guys in the chat are like, I finished the main story already, and I did too. Um, so I think if you pace yourself a little bit more, it probably feels more natural. I don't know what the code is here. Or is it the 315 one that we got before? Did we use that already? Just a four digit? Or 1315? Uh uh. Wrong code. Tickle the air some more. Bound to work eventually, right? In one of these data points. I think it's in that one that's over there. I'll go back. I want the brim shine anyway. Yeah, it's the it's I think that it's the can of bean ones over there. You guys are right. The beans, Zach said. Twelve forty seven, you guys are saying? I'm gonna grab this brim shine while we're over here. 
Yeah, Gojira, thanks for that tip. I'll check that island where I fought the Stormbird at some point. I don't want to fight another one right now necessarily, but... One, two, f yeah, you guys are right. One, two, four, seven. Good job. Be wondering what all the commotion was about. Nihal, yeah, I hope there's another mm. DLC too. Did you find something? This data. The soldier didn't write it. Funded. Guess our friend found someone after all. No sign of Olvar, though. We'll keep looking. Nick, are you asking if Shredders have a critical hit chance? Like, uh... Where is it? Yeah, so they don't list it here for some reason. They list all the other chances and multipliers here. But Shredders, if I'm remembering right, have a 15% chance. And a 1.3 multiplier, maybe? If Paris is here, he would know off the top of his head, probably. But if he was here, he'd also be chatting. So I don't think he is. Cold. He's been here a while. His explosives must have attracted burrowers. And is that? He stole Gildan's looking glass. It's probably when he pushed him off the boat. How am I gonna break this to Gildan? Freaking Olvar. Uh, frozen combat. Just wanna hey, take the opportunity to tell me. Or are you doing that thing where you talk to yourself? Yeah, we're doing that thing where we talk to ourselves. Sorry, frozen. Keep Gildan waiting. You admire my videos and professionalism making the tutorials. Thanks, man. I appreciate you saying that. I do put a lot of work into my content. There she is. A delver like no other, I must say. Well, let's hear it. So? Any sign of my elusive partner? Gildan... Olvar didn't make it. Machines got him. I found him holding this. My looking glass, but... But how? This isn't going to be easy to hear, but... I think he... He really did care. He knew how special this was to me. That... That has to be why he held on to it. I was in his thoughts until the very end. Ah, uh, poor Gildan. You know what, Gildan? I'm sure you're right. That is how you should remember him. And at least this way, you know what happened to him. Yeah. You're right. Better a delve ended than never began, after all. Just a whole heap of rotten luck. Right when I... Finally found someone to be my friend. That's the way the hammer falls, I guess. I think I'd be used to it by now. Truth be told... I never had a lasting friend. I mean... And your own mum doesn't like you enough to stick around. Why would anyone else? I'm really starting to think. 
I might go my whole life like this. No matter what I do, what I say, in the end, I'll be inevitably all alone. Hey, that is not true. You'll always have me, Gildan. And I might not be with you all the time, but <laughs> there is a way for us to stay in touch with this. Gildan gets a One focus. Of your tiny wonders? It's called a focus. You put it on up here, like this. Whoa! Sparks to steel. Look at that. And that. <laughs> Over there, too. What a thing of beauty. No idea what it all means. But a dazzle all the same. I will put you in touch with some friends of mine. They'll help you get up to speed on using the focus. And I meant what I said. If you ever really need me, give me a call. I'll always help a friend. Before you skedaddle out of here, I've got something for you too. Figured you'd find a better use for it than me. Thanks, Gildan. Until we meet again. Hey, Paris. Good to see you here. Um, Gojira. I did all three different options on my other save file. I just reloaded to see them all. Level up. Nick, yeah, it's a 10 to 15% critical hit chance. 1.5 multiplier, yeah. I think that's right. Paris is here now, so Paris <laughs> Paris can correct us on crit, hey Gaia, crit stats for Shredders. You just gave a focus to a friend of mine. Can you make sure he's patched into our network? And maybe check in on him now and then? He could use someone to talk to. Certainly. I am happy to converse with him whenever he wishes. Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? Hello, Gilton. Let us continue our conversation on another frequency. Whoa! Who was... <laughs> Wait! Don't tell me. Another friend of a certain flame-haired Nora? <laughs> By the forge, this is gonna be marvelous. Indeed it will. Thanks, Gaia. <laughs> yeah, do that on another frequency, guys. Frozen, can I send a link to the existing weaves in the game? Um, so in the description of this stream, there's a link to my resource database, which has my spreadsheet for all the coils and weaves in it. So you can use that link. So actually, I want to go back to the base. I don't know if you guys did this, but you can talk to Beta and Gaia a little bit. Liz, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Okay. Um, back in the start of the stream. I could check in with Beta and Gaia while I'm here. As for everyone else, I should help where I can. Get them up to speed on the burning shores another time. Yeah, Paris. We were just trying to remember if it's um, it's like a twelve point five percent hit chance, right? And then a one point is it a one point three x multiplier or a one point five x multiplier? Aloy. You're back. So this is a little entry by Beta on the Hephaestus developments. <laughs> and then I know I said this in my recent video, the one I posted this morning, but I'm wondering if this is just the loot that you get after finishing Singularity. I might have been mistaken about there being new loot here between every main quest, but we'll check here on stream to see. 
1.5 crit damage. Thanks, Barris. Given what we know about Londra, he must have split off from the other Zeniths early. Before he rescued me and Gaia, certainly. Maybe even before the others established their base. In any case, he doesn't have their resources, which makes him more desperate and dangerous. Be careful. Let's go talk to Gaia. Frozen, um, yes. Every stream that's on YouTube is automatically recorded on YouTube, so you can find it on my channel under the live tab. I also put all these streams in my Forbidden West walkthrough playlist, so you can find them there too. I have queried the Apollo database for MSP, but found no results. Whatever it is, it must have been a closely guarded secret within Heaven Sent. Out of all of your companions, Gildan has made the most use of the focus communication function. <laughs> I enjoy conversing with him. His digressions are amusing. And quite frequent. Gildan's using the focus a lot. Paris, what's wrong with your game? Let's go back to the Burning Shores. How much Brimshine do we have? 18. Let's go buy some gear. I think I might buy an outfit. Um, and maybe upgrade my that spike thrower we just got. See, we're letting the barbarian hang around. I dreamt about the long way. Hmm. I have gear for the wilds if you need. Um, let me see what coils he's got. Paris error. Somebody mentioned that error before, too. It crashes like there's a memory leak. So are you able to play any of the Burning Shores? Where does it... Does it crash at a specific point? Um, so something you could try, if you haven't, is go to Manage Content. And then, like, uninstall the Burning Shores and reinstall it. This is a really solid coil, too. Oh, shame. You glitched into the last mission, Paris? That's pretty weird. I would try uninstalling and reinstalling the DLC. I mean, two people now have mentioned that just right here on stream. So I would imagine that uh, if people are submitting bug reports when it happens, hopefully it's giving you that prompt. Gorilla's going to get a lot of them, and they're going to fix it pretty quickly, I would hope. Oh, we need water wing circulators. Dang it. Let's see, is that, is it better than my other spike thrower already?
I mean, I think it's better for knockdown just because I have four coil slots to load these up on. So I'm going to do it. Whoops, no, not knockdown damage. Need knockdown power. I wish we could clean up the way that these coils, the coil menu works here so you don't have to scroll down so much. Like there's no reason to break out every one that's equipped into a single tile, you know? Oops. I'm hoping we get a patch here at some point since we didn't get a lot of like quality of life improvements here in the DLC that adds things like that. All right, we have 18 more Brimshine because we couldn't use any to upgrade. So I think I'm going to buy an outfit with that. Paris, you were in the quest. There was a ladder and it crashes when you climb the ladder. Which quest is that? In the last quest? So I'm pretty drawn to the Quen Marine because it's very similar. Here, let's compare these. It's very similar to the Norris um, Thunder Warrior, which is my favorite outfit. Nowhere to find. So it has the same, all the same perks, except the last two, you get drop capacity, Valor Surge Master, as opposed to Stealth Range Plus and Heavy Weapon Plus. Um, the drop shield capacity is kind of useless in my opinion. And then all the regular stats are the same. So I actually kind of think the Thunder Warrior is still the better option here between the two. But I'm trying to use new gear only, so I think I'm going to buy that. And we'll upgrade it. Yeah, I do have the dead eye. That's true, Paris. I could check that out. So that's. Oh, no, I don't have the dead eye yet. We need to do the quest to get that. I have it on my other save. I might have. Outlander. Up for trade? Liss, I. What do you mean I have the pre order? There's no Black Tide Sharp Shot bow here. I can't buy it. And there was no Black Tide Quen Commander outfit where we just were. So we can't fully upgrade it yet. So we're just going to be missing a little bit of stamina regen and the Valor Surge Master, which I'm not too worried about. So what did I have on? I had the Valiant. Forty fifty-five. Forty-three sixty. So this is better. So I'm going to leave that on and then I'm going to put... I'm going to get my potion proficiency back. 
because I like being able to drink potions really fast. And we'll go for mm, like low health ranged maybe. We'll rock the look too. Arctics, don't I? Are you asking if I have elite concentration coils? TH, TH, look, I'll show you. I know it. I know it shows these, but it, I don't have them in the game. You could just see them. You could just see when I was in game at the merchants. They're not there. Like if I had it, you'd buy it for one shard from this guy, the Black Tide Sharp Shop bow, and it's not here. So it's weird. I mean, I know I have those those DLC items when you look in the manage content, but it's not here in game. You're lost. It's strange. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe I don't know if anybody else has had that bug, but maybe it's just a bug. Um Well, we need some Sunwing circulators, so let's go do this side quest. I know there's some sun wings in this side quest. Gojira, how do I drink potions without taking my thumb off the last stick? So I have I have a uh, scuff controller. So I have paddles on the back. So I can do it with like my other fingers. So like all the paddles are linked to my D-pad arrows. So I don't have to take my left thumb off the movement stick at all. You came. I wasn't sure you would. Well, I'm here. I'm guessing this has something to do with the compliance officer's inspections I saw earlier. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I saw you stand against compliance with Seika. You must have your own reasons for doing so. But just how far are you willing to go to oppose Rang? I'll do what I can. Look, I, I get that you're not quick to trust, but I can only help if you let me. I suppose you're right. Especially in times like these. You've seen the influence compliance has here. It's even worse back home. But there are a few of us who do whatever we can to undermine them. We joined the fleet to further our cause, led by Diviner Enki. A while back, Enki set out with a crew to recover a priceless shipping manifest, disguised as a scouting trip. But they never made it back. Exactly. Only Enki and Kelva, another ally, knew the true purpose of their expedition. That manifest could lead us to undiscovered focus caches back in the Great Delta. Which is why I need your help to find Enki, or finish what he started. Um, who was it asking about the diving Sunwing? Sven? I have no idea why that's happening. You sure it's not a water wing like Paris said? You could also check your controls for flying mounts in the settings. The manifest that Enki was after, you said it could lead to more focuses? Stockpiles of them, all back in the Great Delta. Only diviners are allowed to study the legacy. And from what Enki told me, only part of it at that. So if focuses of your own, you could learn the truth for yourselves. Not just learn. Use everything the Quen have built, our fleets, our technologies, comes from the legacy, the true might of the Empire. With that knowledge and power on our side, we could finally loosen the stranglehold the boards have on our people. Maybe even overthrow them altogether. So when you joined the expedition, you were after this shipping manifest? Not quite. The fleet was originally bound for a different city far to the north, one we believed held many powerful secrets. Enki had hoped to recover as much knowledge as he could 
before it fell into the hands of the other diviners. After we wound up here, he found a scrap of data that mentioned the manifest and its supposed location. He realized this find would more than make up for our failed operation. It was a wind in our sails. Hope at last. Yeah, Liss, uh, it is kind of a shame. I think that's why the map is totally separated and not connected. Because, like, they just have all the new graphics stuff enabled here, but not on the original map. I'm guessing there are more compliance officers like Rang back home. Rang is a poisonous toad. But the Board of Compliance is the black heart of the Empire. It breeds fear and suspicion. All Quen are expected to watch for any sign of disobedience or malcontent. It turns neighbor against neighbor. Even divides families. My own brother, eager to rise in the ranks, reported our mother to compliance. She was innocent, of course. But after they released her from interrogation, she wasn't quite the same. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. That kind of betrayal... It never really heals. Joshua, um... The large machines, I'm pretty sure, are the ones that drop luminous brain stems. So, you, you can check the notebook. Check the machine catalog. But I think it's all the big ones. I'll try to find Enki's expedition. Where exactly were they headed? An island far to the southwest. Enki believed the manifest would be found in a ruin there. I also thought I saw smoke rising from another island east of it. Perhaps they ran into some trouble on the way? That's worth a look. If... Ancestors forbid. Something happened to Enki out there? His focus can still help our cause. And the manifest he was after. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Uh, Rodrigo, do I think there'll be a second DLC? I hope so. I think we have a good chance for that. I also think, like, they put so much work into Forbidden West that it's going to be a while before we get Horizon 3. And it would only make sense to... I mean, from a business standpoint, right? Like, if you make more DLCs on your existing game, you can make some money and that's a whole lot easier than building a whole nother game. But in the end, it all becomes a question of like what capacity do they have, you know? Um, if you actually go on Gorilla's website right now, they have so many job postings open. Like they're clearly trying to hire and get more capacity to work on Horizon content. And um, we're going to do the splinter within. I think that, you know, when you see a company trying to hire that much, it's like they clearly need help. Not that they're in trouble, but they just need more capacity. You know, they're just seeing a lot of demand for their product. People like the game. People want more. People want a multiplayer. We know they're working on a multiplayer, which is probably a huge project that's sucking up a lot of resources for them so i think internally at gorilla it's probably a question of like do we devote resources to a second dlc or do we get to horizon 3 sooner but if i were them i would want to i would want to use this platform you've built with forbidden west which is super good to do more you know and i think you can we have we haven't seen the Banuke at all since Frozen Wilds. So they could do something like we go north and see Cyan again or something like that. I don't know. I hope we get a second DLC, but I think the next thing for Horizon will probably be we'll probably get some news about the multiplayer because it's kind of an open secret at this point. If you go on their site right now, the, all the job descriptions are like, multiplayer Horizon game, you know? They haven't officially announced it, but they're working on it. We know they are. 
and then probably also um, Forbidden West coming to PC, which I'm super excited for. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I hope by the end of this year, maybe. Smoke. Might be the distress signal Theora mentioned. Oh, Sven, you were just inverted? That's good. Simple fix. See these stalker mines on the ground. frozen. Gotta get back up there, Aloy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now that's a sight. The oh. flasher, come on now. Oh. <laughs> I should have used chain burst sooner. Gwen's stuck on that ruined bridge. I better get in there and clear out those machines. Machines got that. Actually, I think I'm going to go for, um, Gwen pinned down. Outlander, don't come any closer. This island's cursed. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this skill that lets you move more with the sharp shot bow. Now we have the easy ones to clear out. I guess they didn't get in on the fight that time. Which made it a little bit Go back easier. You came, girl. It's dangerous. Spotted. You clipped it! Couldn't quite fit on her. Okay, 
area's clear. I should check on that Quinn. If you can hit the stalkers when they're around their own mines and explode them, it's really strong. Okay, finally. Are you all right? I'll live. But what's an outlander doing all the way out here? My name's Aloy. I met your tribe back at your settlement. I'm here to look for Enki's expedition. I see. I'm Rokomo. Divana Enki was my charge. We ran into machine trouble on a small island to the west. I had no choice but to drag Enki out of there. Didn't get far, obviously. A strange gyre smashed our boat into the ruins offshore. Barely made it to this island. And then we ran into those damn machines. Enki saw them before I did. Took a blow in my stead. He died from his wounds not long after. If Enki is gone, I was asked to return his focus. Impossible. It was loss of the waves. But now that you're here, maybe there's still a chance for my comrades. I left them on that island. Please, you have to help them. Okay, I'll do what I can. But what about you? I can't just leave you here. Now don't worry about me. I cobbled together a raft. With those machines gone, I can get back to the settlement on my own. Okay. Be safe then. Twinge, I should head um, to the other island. See if there are any survivors. And if Enki's focus sunk with their boat, I might be able to recover it. I gotta find that gyre Rokomo mentioned. Rokomo. I love his name. Rokomo. Uh, Twinge, I have not completed the main story on this save, but I have another save where I did, and I did most of the side content too, so I know how it all goes. Um... But we're going to complete it again here on this save. But I'm doing as much side content as I can. Because the main the main story goes pretty quick. So I'm trying to intersperse as much side content as possible. So we don't feel like it goes by too quickly. I think I'm getting close to the island Rokomo mentioned. Rokomo. Alright, you guys are going to have to forgive me. But this fight, if you've done it, is difficult. So I'm going to use a rope caster. Forgive me. Paris, you can roast me for it. It's fine. Machines. I'll have to clear them out before I can look around. Kokomo song, yeah, Twinch. That's what I thought of initially as well. Down here. Crazy, you can't even get him down with one row. Machine can't move. I could grapple in for a big hit. Swimming Aloy. 
holy cow. They're just so... Like, they don't let up. And the rope caster doesn't attach, like, in the middle of most of their animations. It's crazy. Yeah, I've, I found that spot, Twinge. <laughs> That's hectic. Ah. Like their their attacks have so much range too. It's when they're on the ground, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, I feel like that absolutely should have attached. She can't move. I could grapple in for a big hit. Number not almost tie him down completely. Well, because I have a shock for him. Had a moment before it breaks free.
people. Got lucky there. That is the frost. Okay, Harry's clear. Better look around for any survivors. All right. Okay, Harry's clear. Better look around for any survivors. It's a tough fight, man. It's one of the tougher fights I've come across. Soldiers, this must have been Anki's expedition. I better take a closer look. Problem with those water wings is just like everything. <laughs> they have so much health, they don't let up. Their uh, attack animations are so extended. Killed by machines. And there's a note. They thought Rokomo was up to something. I better figure out what really happened here. My focus can help. This is this the LAX control tower? Um, that's a good question. It might be. There's a bunch of planes over here. Materials for a raft? Maybe these Quen tried to leave the island after Rokomo took the boat. This is LAX. That's pretty cool. Six bed rolls, only three bodies. Anki and Rokomo left on the boat. So where's the last soldier? Yeah, Jeremy, I think you're right. I should have been dodging like past them, at, at them. I think you're definitely right about that. Did we have to pick up footprints? The Quan held out against the machines for a while. But judging by the number of bedrolls, some must have gotten away. Okay, so the Quen stranded here were building a raft when machines killed them. Enki and Rokomo escaped earlier, but one of their Quen got away. I better check for tracks, see if I can find where they went. There, tracks. Maybe more than one set.
The last missing Quinn. Killed in a struggle. She was stabbed to death. Rokomo lied about what happened here. Looks like his tracks keep going. Tracks end at the water. And there's drag marks. The boat must have cast off from here. So Rokomo killed that Quen and took Enki. And left the others to die. He's got a lot to answer for. But first, I'd better find the shipping manifest Enki was after. The ruin's a good place to start. Maybe that tower. Oh yeah, so this is the this is the control tower. The ATC tower. Make a good use of this. That equipment might have the shipping manifest. It's here. There's a lot of data to sift through, but it should lead to more focuses in the Quinn's homeland. For now, I should find that Jaya Rokomo mentioned. Might be able to recover Enki's focus from their sunken wreck. To the gyre. Yeah, Gojira, um, I mean, Elijah, like Gojira is saying, if you create a job for Brimshine, like for an item that needs it, it'll show you locations on the map. Which is a pretty handy way to find it. And then you, when you have enough, you just go spend it and then make another job. You can find more. There's a lot of it. Like there's a lot of it hidden around. It's just, you know, you got to look around corners and stuff. Both. No sign of a focus, though. I better keep looking. Current's really fighting me here. I can't take on a tide with ground or water. I'll have to be careful down here. Mom, we're right there. Oh, our trucks could give me cover. Oh, I 
think I have Thalassophobia mode on. Oh boy. Come on, you didn't see me. like we're just outside of range of getting the There we go. Got it. Just luck now it's a track down Locomo. Funky change time of day becomes unavailable to you? That's weird. Heading out for a little bit, Paris. Rokomo okay. should be around here somewhere. He's got a lot of explaining to do. There he is. DM, good to see me play. Uh, good to have you here. So you made it back. Rokomo. Aloy. Hey, I see you've caught up to me. You lied, Rokomo. I went to the island, where you left your fellow soldiers. Three were killed by machines, but the fourth? You killed them. Then dragged Enki away. So you found the truth, then. After we made camp, I saw Enki sneak off with another soldier. I tailed them. Overheard them discussing some kind of manifest. That's when Enki's allies spotted me and attacked. She left me no choice. You were ordered to spy on Enki. My orders on this expedition were to serve Officer Rang. And Rang suspected Enki was up to something. And because of that, everyone except you is dead. But there's something I don't get. Why ask me to go back and save them knowing I might discover what really happened? It would have been worth it if it meant undoing the harm I caused. Before Enki died, I asked why he didn't just let the machines kill me. His answer was simple. We force ourselves to do terrible things because we think we have no choice. Hearing that made me want to make up for my mistakes. He wanted you to see there's always another way. And if you really want to atone, you should stand up against Rang. He put you up to all this. Owning my crime is one thing, but defying compliance? Rang will report to the board upon our return home. I'd never walk free again. Would that stop Enki? Well, it's your choice, as long as you remember that. Just think about it, okay? George, you're on the uh, welcome crew on Discord. That's awesome. Thanks for taking that role. It's, it's great to have people on Discord welcome everybody. I think our, our server is a really great community. A lot of really nice people there. Hey, you ready, clear up? Need 
need what I have to survive these deadly pits. Save your pleas for the Admiral. That's enough out of you. You had better have significant evidence, Rain. Sir, the witness I uncovered was quite specific. They overheard her conspiring with Diviner Enki before he left. That's absurd! What did you offer them to lie? Hold on. This is no business of yours, Barbarian! Oh, it definitely is. I found Enki's expedition. All but one are dead because of your interference. If that's true, I had nothing to do with it. Yes, he did. Admiral, I'm a risk specialist. Rang told me that Diviner Enki was a traitor and ordered me to shadow him. When one of the others discovered me, I was forced to protect my cover. And what of Enki? Innocent. He died trying to defend me from a machine. Whatever evidence Rang has against Theoa can't possibly be right. Admiral, I... Silence! Five people are dead. You deployed a risk specialist and didn't disclose it. As is my right! Not in an emergency! You idiot! We're shipwrecked. <laughs> the crisis clause of the Maritime Charter clearly states that you must transfer all covert assets to my command. And don't get me started on the subject of coaching witnesses! Take him to the brig. Theoa, you're free to go. Rokomo, with me. I want a full report. Yeah, Your twins, service that's true. is noted, Outlander. I really like the Admiral's, like, coral on his getup. On his shoulder. Here's Enki's focus. I put the manifest on there for you. Use it to find more focuses. Free your people from compliance. I'll do my best. Enki would want me to. Please, accept this. You're a gift from the ancestors, Outlander. So we get the Quen Deadeye outfit, which is a really solid um, stealth and concentration outfit, like Stealth Hunter. It says Infiltrator, but I think that must be a mistake. Like, well, I don't know. I guess it makes sense with all the stealth, with a couple stealth and low profile perks, but it, it's more of a hybrid one in my mind. The Marine one also says Infiltrator, which doesn't make any sense. So let's see if we can upgrade. You like the dead eye twin? I'm kind of torn between the dead eye and uh, the marine. I don't really use stealth tactics too much. Like, it's mostly an opener for me if I'm going to use it. So this maxes out. You get Concentration Plus and Regen and Quiet Movement. Stealth, Stealth, Low Profile, Quiet Movement. And this... You get two Staminas. And you don't get any Stamina. stamina. But I think the perks are better overall on the Deadeye. I think I agree with that. Melee is 54, Impact 60. 55 and 65. Weak to Frost, weak to Plasma. Weak to Shock and Purge Water. It's probably better resistances too. But a little bit less melee an impact resistance.
I think we can fully upgrade this right now, so I might go for this. Move around freely in low health Paris with the Deadeye. Yeah, I can see that. I think I'm going to rock it for now. So, um, we don't have stamina. I definitely want weapon stamina plus on this. And I'm tempted to do regen also because I just, I really like weapon stamina. But having like a low health coil would be nice. Um, I'm going to go weapon stamina regen though for now. So we've maxed weapon stamina and regen. So if I create a job right now for like the Grave Singer's Lament, for example or the tie that binds any of these because I don't have enough brim shine it will show me where some brim shine is so we can just go get it and I'm going to check out what dyes we have for this outfit real quick Tom Scholes looks pretty cool. Dark Current also looks pretty cool. I, re I really want the Black Tide die. I hope it's just a bug. I like those colors. Good choice. Valuable stuff. So then if you do that and you still don't have enough, it'll show you where another one is. So we can just keep rolling around, finding Brimshine until we have enough to complete the job. This is, in my opinion, this is the easiest way to find it. Oh, and this is this spot right here. This is also where that key that we found by the waterfall comes in. That Quen scroll I found mentioned someone hit a key in the settlement. Maybe for this. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I might have found that on my other save, actually. All right. We can. Uh... Let's do a main quest. But we'll make it daytime first. Twins, you got to step out for a bit. Um, 
yeah, hopefully we'll still be going when you get back. But if not, thanks for stopping in. I wish you could still just, I wish you could hold X to craft in here instead of having to hit it every time. Like that's a quality of life improvement. I feel like we should have, and also just let me, let me keep crafting beyond my inventory capacity. If I want to put it in the stash, you know, Hey twinge, thanks for the super. I really appreciate that. this way. Clean up the toolkit. All right. I can take my spike thrower back. Uh, George super chats like a donation. So it's um, it shows up in chat to show that somebody made a donation to me, basically. And you can see it kind of sticks up there for a little bit. Want to grab a bite when we're off duty? All right, Seika, what are we doing next? Ow! Oh, just great. Is everything okay? I gave my report to the Admiral. Apparently, some of the crew have called for me to be stripped of rank and cast out. I'm so sorry, Seika. That must be really hard to take. It doesn't matter. Where are we headed next? Well, um, we know where Londra sent the data from his old company. Somewhere on the mainland, north of where we met. Should be able to fly there. Yeah, about that. Let's take my skiff this time instead. Not a fan of flying, huh? I'm a marine. I'll take the water over the skies any day. All right, I'll take your skiff. Should we get going? Uh, Paris, I've done one full playthrough. Probably had the game crash like three times total on me. And I've had some audio glitches and some pop-in glitches I've seen, but I've never had it like not work the way you're you're having an issue. Um, Alexandre, my rule for myself was I'd start with all purple gear, but then I'd allow myself to use any new new stuff. Yeah, let's go. Follow me.
Nice and easy. And unlike flying, if you fall off, you don't die. <laughs> Open water ahead, and Fleet's End disappearing behind us, along with everyone in it. Why do you put up with them? I mean, I, I get what it's like to feel as if an entire tribe's against you. I would have stormed out of there a long time ago. It wasn't always like this. I was a good Marine. A good sister. It felt like I belonged. That belonging is a kind of strength. One that keeps me going even in the roughest seas. When you have something like that, you can't cast it aside. I see. You know, your people don't know how lucky they are to have you. I don't know about that. I do. These two. Uh, Paris. Most of the crashes were like in the middle of combat. Hey, Sunny Acres. Thanks for the super. That's really cool to see you here. Well, it seems like the port hits are leading us towards that horse. That thing gives me the creeps. On clear nights, we can see it from the camp looming over us. I'm glad you find my uh, my content helpful. I really appreciate there. the donation. On the shore, more of our boats. Then we're on the right track. I'll take us in. Sunny, are you now on Forbidden West or are you still playing Zero Dawn? Okay, the coordinates point to somewhere up the hill. After you. You're on a you're on you're playing Burning Shores with a new PS5. That's awesome. You've put a lot of work in to get good at the game. Since you since you started like a year ago when you were emailing me. You should be proud of that. It definitely that. seems like we're heading for the Metal Devil. Why would Laundra send his data here? I'm not sure. It's an odd place to bring a bunch of Quen to. I just hope we find them. My people were here, all right. Looks like they headed further up the hill. Coordinates lead that way, too. See so if you have that job going. Anytime you're near some brimshine, it just kind of pops up, which is nice. That barrier. Laundra must have set it up. Doesn't look like there's a way past it. There's some kind of device on the other side. I think I can scan it. Oh yeah, I forgot, Sonny. You said you had to... Because you made a new PlayStation account, right? When you got the PS5. You had to start all over. That's tough. Yeah, Rodrigo, I have a lot of rocks. Whoops. You okay? All right. Let's see what's on this thing. It looks like there's something further in. Some kind of compound. Laundra might be in there. You're missing people, too. I'm not seeing a way past the barrier. There. That's some kind of power generator. Hooked up to the arm of the Horus. Laundra's figured out how to get part of it working again. A metal devil can't actually wake up, can it? <sighs> I'm not sure. But at least right now, it must be how Laundra's powering the barrier. 
So if we can find a way to shut down those generators, it should come down. It's worth a shot, at least. It looks like there are two of them nearby. Come on, let's get going. Hey, Dave Iff. Welcome to the street. The generators should be back down the hill. Uh, Gabe, yeah, I'll definitely do a loadout video at some point. I think the next video will be like an overview of and comparing all the new legendary weapons. I think a lot of people, a lot of people have been asking me for that. And I think it's probably a good topic to go through, like which ones are best for each weapon category. You know, now, now that we have the base game legendaries and the new game plus legendaries. And, uh... Whoa! Look at that! Above us! And these new legendaries. Well, into a lot of trouble to power that shield. Got a couple of our big ugly friends too. Ugh! And more eggs. Just follow my lead. Here we go! Dang it. those off. Uh. Tongue attack is ridiculous, man. down Kermit okay let's see if we can shut this thing down
could use the target practice. Oh, they take forever. I definitely have to figure out a more efficient way of hunting these. Thank <laughs> you. 
we can focus on the generators. Didn't mean to explode that sack, but got it done. Kind of power core. I can't hit the core on my own. Seika, I need you to shoot the core. Got it! One down. Now for the other generator. Hey, little guy. Whoops. Back to the bunker entrance. Barrier should be gone now. Ancestors, I hope my people are in there. Sunny, you remove the uh, egg spawn launchers. <laughs> Going down. Blast. That's a good strat. It's pretty difficult to do that on higher difficulties, but I think for most difficulties, that's you know, a very good strat. The last time I saw my sister, I was relieved. She was leaving for a scouting mission. I guess I wanted a break from her. I get it. Things aren't always easy with my sister either. I thought you said you were an outcast. I only met her recently. It's a... It's a long story. Always full of surprises, huh? I try. Heaven's Point rest. Is, I'm, I'm sure your sister will be glad to see you. I don't know, but it's nice of you to say. Your people. And another mural. And the warrior bow on the... Sting spawn? That's a good idea too. Let's find out. See, I told you more be chosen. Seika, have you come to join us? Join you? Yeah, we have. Took a while, but we finally made it. <laughs> a barbarian, one of the chosen. Impossible. Zeth would never allow this. Hmm. How did you get in without him? Well, Zeth sent us, actually. After we helped him out of that, um, that ambush in the wilds. Right! You see, I was on my way here with him when machines attacked us. We tried to hold them off, but we were outnumbered. That's when Aloy here came to the rescue. I was exploring the region when I ran across them, so I just rushed in to help. <laughs> you should have seen her. One of the best machine hunters I've ever met. She saved Zeth's life. Oh, I was just doing what I could. <laughs> Zeth had something important he needed to take care of after, so he said to go on without him. And that's when he told us how to lower the barrier and said we should... Head straight inside. Zeth really needed a barbarian to get him out of trouble. We all need a little supporting fire every now and then. Well, Zeth gave him the okay. And I am not risking one of his outbursts. Let the others inside know about our new arrivals, will you? If 
fine. But I'm not letting them into the Ascension Hall until they prove they're devoted, just like everyone else. And I'll be interested to hear Zeth's side of this when he returns. Oh, by all means. Zeth. We don't need Zeth, okay? Don't mind him. Good luck in there, Seika. May you both embrace his light. Ugh. Beta Seiya, Seika talks about Aloy the way you talk about me. <laughs> You're close. too kind. You're too kind. I can't believe my people are here willingly. And they answer to Zeth. Yeah, he sounds like a great answer guy. To Zeth. Let's get to this ascension hall before you have to meet him. A hologram of Londra. Welcome, my chosen. You have wandered, you have suffered, but you are lost no more. For I have found you, and I offer you what you deserve. The Ascension. So be at ease, forget what you think you know, and embrace this moment. A new world awaits. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of Wandra. So he wants us to embrace his light. Literally. We better keep up appearances in here. Ugh. I'll try. Wander is so handsome, isn't he? I'd like you to meet some old friends of mine. You see, we were at the best party in town, celebrating our big win. And while everyone's attention was on me, my ex-business partner, well, he barges in, and he's jealous of our success. And he throws a drink in my face, but not a drop hit me, because my bodyguard, Jack, he tackled him to the floor, and the others, Riley and Nolan and Parker, well, they made sure he was kicked out. But it was my Evelyn who encouraged everyone to just laugh it off. I adored them. Their dedication to me meant everything more than any award. And it ended up being the best night of my life. Guess Laundra's used to people worshipping him. Gross. This is my... Laundra is my least favorite type of person in the universe. <laughs> I hate him. Ah, you must be the ones Brennick mentioned. Two more souls chosen to leave our thankless old life behind. Yes, that is us. It's Kiral, right? You were stationed on the Spark? In my former life, yes. Just one more Marine bound to a hopeless expedition. Ugh. Enough of that. Hmm? As Walter says, we must forget the past. Our suffering led us here, after all. And now... The Ascension is almost upon us. This place is such a wonder, isn't it? I've... never seen anything like it. Oh. But it is still nothing compared to what's in the Ascension Hall. You've been inside? Indeed. I proved my devotion not long before you joined us. Now I wait to be taken to what lies ahead. One step closer to the Ascension. You mentioned you're waiting for what lies ahead, and we're still getting up to speed, but... I thought the Ascension Hall was where we needed to go. You're not the first to fail to grasp Walter's plan for us. <laughs> now that I've seen what's in the Hall, my rank is secure. But there is something more that he's offering us. I just know it. It has to be why the devoted are escorted to another place. 
And as soon as Zeth returns, he'll take me there. I'm ready. Do you have any idea where this place is, exactly? Somewhere that brings us closer to Walter. To his embrace. So you've been inside the Ascension Hall. Is it as special as we think it is? I shouldn't say. I wouldn't want to deny you the same experience I had. Come on, Kural. Just a hint? We're dying to know what's inside. I'll tell you this. It's breathtaking. Like the moment Walter first appeared before our boat, but better. Prove your devotion, and you'll see. Yeah, Zanislav, please don't discuss any spoilers, especially not the last boss fight. Um, a lot of people watching this can't play because they don't have a PS5 or something, so this is their experience for it. Um, so I'd really appreciate you not spoiling anything. And some people haven't finished it yet. Paris, can you, are you able to check if you can download a game before deleting it? I mean, if you already have the Burning Shores, you'll definitely be able to re-download it. Uh, Vif, no, I'm not on Twitch. I'm streaming on YouTube. I don't switch between them. Well, thanks for talking with us, Kiral. We should get back to learning about Walter. Yes. Of course. Good luck with your studies. I hope to see you at the Ascension. Oh good, this guy again. Gotta pretend I look up to Londra. Duck. Come, sit with me. I'd like to tell you a story. Once, I had a home on this world with the most beautiful view of the city. Me and my wife, we used to love to sit and watch the city lights twinkle in the evening haze. It's our moment of serenity. But then, the time of ashes came. And while the heavens offered an escape, only I survived and grasped the secrets of immortality. Evelyn, everyone I ever cherished, they were gone. And I was alone. Which is why I am so glad to have met you. Soon, you and I shall spend eternity on a new world. Every sunset. Together. He's so gross. I'd rather sail into another typhoon than spend an eternity with him. <laughs> uh, Beta, I'm not sure if I'm going to play Jedi Survivor at launch. Well, if it isn't our do-gooder and the barbarian. It all makes sense now. The time of ashes, the floods in the Great Delta. We've been trapped in a cycle of destruction, but soon we'll have a new world. That's quite a promise. And now that you've proved your devotion, you're ready for what comes next. Zeth will lead you there as soon as he returns. Not so fast. Your good deed in the wilds may have gotten you this far, but you'll get no special treatment here. Walter himself granted me the privilege of guarding the Ascension Hall. So until you complete your review and learn the words of attainment, this door remains shut. No exceptions. Okay, okay, we will be back later then.
sounds like we're supposed to pass some kind of laundry devotion test. But who knows how long we have before this Zeth guy gets back. There's got to be a faster way to learn whatever the words of attainment are. Let's take a look around. Don't think the words were in those Laundra holograms we watched. They might help with talking to the others. Maybe we could convince them to give us a hand. Paris, I think it should save your your data. I, I would make sure you have your PlayStation account set up so that it saves the saves in the cloud. I just I'll get us a drink. In the meantime, remember what Walter said about embracing the future. Seems like you don't really share your friend's excitement about all this. I should be more excited, shouldn't I? It's okay to question things. Lon was thrilled when we got into the Ascension Hall. He can't wait to see what we'll be taking next, but I'm worried that all of this is too good to be true. So why don't you just leave? I can't abandon him. We've been through everything together. Our, our missions, the Typhoon, the Shipwreck, and soon, the Ascension, I guess. Seems like most of the clan are more than happy to follow Londra. So why not you? At first, I wanted to believe. I mean, everything he told us felt like it filled an emptiness, like maybe I'd finally found somewhere to belong. But then I remembered how the boards back home would tell us to follow the virtues of the legacy, to be good and honest. And then they dragged my father away for speaking out against an imperial decree. I'm not sure it's any different here. Walter might be a living ancestor, but with a cudgel like Zeth to do his bidding, his kindness is just as conditional as the Empire's. As far as anyone at your settlement knows, you went out into the wilds and vanished. How did you end up here? Lon and I were part of a scouting mission to the mainland, but things went bad fast. We were lost and starving, our boat was wrecked, and then Walter found our camp. A living ancestor, emerging from the wilds to tell us we'd been chosen, that we were safe. It was easy to embrace. Everyone here has a similar story. Why didn't anyone send word to us? Not everyone is chosen. Walter says we must leave our old lives behind if we're going to ascend. Nobody questioned it. But I should have. You said Lon can't wait to see where you're headed next. Do you know what you'll find there? I imagine it'll be another kind of test, like here. Once you've been in the Ascension Hall, you're taken there by Zeth. He and his troops are the only ones who ever come back. Everyone keeps mentioning him. I get the feeling he's not really a friendly guy. <laughs> as friendly as a fireclaw. But it's not just him. The soldiers that follow him are like that too. I guess they know they can do as they like now that they don't answer to the Admiral or compliance. You're right to be skeptical of all this. Wander is up to something. We need to get into the Ascension Hall to figure out what. And to do that, we need the words of attainment. I don't want to stir up any trouble. When Zeth comes back, he'll figure out that I told you. Does it have something to do with one of those laundry displays? This is important, Otosu. A lot of lives are at stake. It's related to what Walter said he valued most about his friends. It's about their dedication to him, right? That's right. See? It'll be okay. I don't know. Maybe this is a bad idea. Look, whatever Laundra wants with your people, it's not good. Everyone here, including your friend, are in danger. But you can help us stop him. Okay. Repeat this to Brennick. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him may I ascend to a new world. <sighs> Thanks, Atosu. You've been a big help. I hope you know what you're doing. Well, we got our words of attainment. 
Renek should let us into the Ascension Hall now. Let's get out of here. All right, let's get in there. I already told you, no one's getting past me without the words of attainment. Oh, we know the words, Seika. Oh, no, you should have the honor, Aloy. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him may I ascend to a new world. No one's ever passed their devotion review so quickly. Well, we did. So will you get out of the way now? <laughs> I love how she delivered those lines. I don't know how much more of Londra I can take. Yeah, I'll see what he's really up to. All this time, they didn't even want to be found. We don't know if they all feel that way. Yeah. Sure. Something on your mind? Nothing. The Ascension Hall better have answers. That's all. There was something different in Nova's tone today. The slightest edge of recalcitrance. Tweaking her settings brought her back in line, but... I'll run a full diagnostic, just to be sure. An elevator. Let's see where it leads. Punch is really building up the suspense. Must be quite a spectacle up there. That's how they'll ascend. Andra's building a spaceship, all right. We better take a closer look. The clouds. They're not real. It's all an illusion. Looks like a giant Spectre Prime. is one of the other Zenith people that I think worked on what became ne Nemesis. Like the sentience uploading tech or something like that. There's, there's some lore there. I'm just, I don't know what it is exactly. My focus. What's that sound? It's a, a warning, I think, for radiation, something toxic. It should be safe enough for now, but I'd better check out the ship. Okay, tell me what you find. He had twinge. I can see why Nemesis wants them dead.
storage for Mondra's followers? But that can't be enough space for all of them. And MSP again. What does that mean? The rocket. The source of the radiation. That's why he grabbed data from that old prototype at his headquarters. It must be how I'll get the lift he needs. Andres got the Horus's printer working again. To build the ship. Okay, I've well, seen enough. What's going on with that ship? I don't like that look. What did you find? The Horus. It has a... a special component. One that can make almost anything you can imagine. Parts, tools, even entire machines. Londra has rigged it to build what he needs for his ship. But in order for the ship to leave... It needs a ton of power, way more than what Laundra could achieve with what he had. So he went looking for something from his old company. Exactly. Part of the data he got was for a blueprint, for a kind of... boost. One that's as toxic as it gets. If this ship gets airborne... ...it'll spread a poison from here to every tribal land in the region. Everyone will get sick and die. There's still something I don't get. Why would Landra do all of this just to get off this world? Uh... Oh, this again! Sake. You're still not telling me everything! My people are the ones that are caught up in all this! My sister! I deserve to know. You're right. I will tell you. It just won't be... Guess our time's up. Rhine filth! Oh, this must be our friend Zeth. Spread out. Reinforcements will follow. Time to put you down! Never seen a cannon like that before. I guess Londra gave him a new toy. How do we even get out of here? Zest got this whole place on lockdown. But maybe there's a way to get off. around so weird. I hit the railing there. Oh, 
I need to get my stamina. How is she doing that? Oh, come on. That was right through his head. Oh, I want you dead. For Walter's glory. No, 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 no. my uh corrosive blast thing out earlier yeah, these death bringer guns when these guys have them it's almost ridiculous Think we can damage him from down here? Blocking my shots. Yeah, the shield is no good. Little barbarian. Power node. It might let the lockdown. It's wired to two more nodes. I gotta yeah, keep Sunny, they, uh, they do not die easily. I think they have at least 1,200 health on Ultra Hard. We have to return to the merchant. Aren't there supposed to be more that come out? Oh yeah, there they are. Hey, 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 hey. You don't have what it takes, thank God. Keep back and finish her! Yeah!
clean up my toolkit real quick. I think we can get in this door now. No. Door's locked. It's not gonna budge with the lockdown. Lifted. Now to get to Zack. extra health before we go for Zeph. There's something off about them, but for now we focus on Zeth. <laughs> Monkey, headshot level up, happy face, yeah. Enjoy crushing you both! Nice to meet you too. Try the new uh, new Valor Surge here. Try and flee. Is that all you got? Hit us with that even during the Valor Surge, apparently. She's in the same as the Enduring. 
doesn't uh, get stun locked as easily. I will break you, barbarian! Oh, relief. I love this thing! No one will mourn you, Sacob! Your insults are as useless as you are! How is he not dead? Have you been taking the rest of our people? Answer her question. He takes the devoted to his park on the southern peninsula. But you'll never reach it. The tower there is positioned to ward off any approach. And my sister is there? She was in the final group. I'm not supposed to bring any more over, but Walter promised the ascension to everyone who proves themselves. I don't understand. Londra's been using you to get what he wants. Let's face it, you're an easy mark. Too blinded by your own ego to see the truth. Well, you just slipped his world upside down. Just give me a straight answer. Why does Landra want to leave? <sighs> Something is coming to Earth. It destroyed the world that Landra fled, and it wants to do the same thing here. Destroy the world? What could possibly do that? <sighs> it's called Nemesis. It's like a machine, sort of. But it's more powerful than anything you or I have ever faced. That's why Landra's building the ship. He's doing everything in his power to leave before it gets here. And I guess he wants to take some coin with him, too. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but there's still hope. 
If you say so. Seika. There's a beach on the southeast coast of the island where we took down the first tower. That's probably the closest we'll get to Londres Park. And I should probably report back to the Admiral. Tell him... something about what we found here. Okay. I'll meet you at the beach then. That was really bad. Seika, she seemed so... lost. Why do I feel like that, too? How do I fix this? I can grab this for my... For now, I'd better take a look at that Zenith weapon. Alright, so if you guys hadn't seen it already, this is how you get the I Zenith gauntlet. I think I can gauntlet. turn this into something I can use. There. I should test it out when I get back outside. Better hey, Jerry. the rest of the Quinn on my way out, too. Glad you could make it. Stanislav, thanks for checking out the stream. It's pretty late where you are. Yeah, you should head out. We'll see you later. Willing to irradiate thousands so long as he survives. Sika and I have to find a way to stop him. Once I make things Walter right with her. has abandoned us! I guess Brennick spread the word to the rest of the people here. That Londra doesn't care about them. They must be pretty confused. It's going well, Jerry. Did a bunch of side content. We found Gildan. Um, got some gear, upgraded some gear, and we just did a main mission. Everyone, please remain calm. All right, we need to go to a workbench, I think. Seems like the Quinn have some thinking to do. I hope they figure it out and head back to Fleet's End. But I gotta meet up with Seika. Talk things out with her. Make sure we're okay. Yeah, the Gildan, the Gildan uh, Relic Ruin and quests are... It's been one of my favorite parts of the DLC, for sure. actually surprised you get champions tokens i guess it makes sense because i'm on new game plus but i just didn't expect it would that they would give them to us here in the in the burning shores you'll need what i have to survive these days all right let's craft it oh what am i doing you're lost Why is the workbench taking so long to load? There we go. Why, uh... Oh, did we just get it? I thought we had to craft it. Huh. I swore we had to craft it. I guess not. So if you guys haven't seen this... Pretty interesting. You get 10 shots, 
It like auto reloads. But you'll notice they only do tear damage and explosive damage. Ready for another day. And then there's an upgrade through a side quest that has another type of ammo that does do impact damage. So I would, if you want to use this thing, you should definitely do that side quest because it makes it a lot stronger. I haven't found it particularly useful. It's not like super overpowered or anything, but it's a pretty interesting weapon. And the ammo is super cheap. Like it's just shards and sparkers. So that's pretty good. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for me for today. Um, we're coming up on four hours, and I think this is a good place to stop. So we'll hang out for a minute, and then um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream tomorrow. Let me change my camera here. I'm not sure if I'll stream tomorrow or not, um, but I'll... You know, I'll post everything like I normally do if I if I plan to. So I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. If you're going to head out, thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate it. Um, and if you're playing the Burning Shores, I hope you're enjoying it. If you can't, I hope you're enjoying watching my walkthrough and, and enjoying it with me. No, Jerry, it wasn't something you said. Sorry you caught us at the end here. I'm just really exhausted from playing a bunch the last few days and then uh, making the video that I released this morning. I haven't gotten a lot of sleep, so I'm going to go get some rest and then get started on probably a legendary gear video, I think will be the next one. No enjoyment for you, Paris. Yeah, monkey, if you you can do the targeting with like a weapon technique on that gauntlet, like you're saying, and then you can uh just spam all the shots and they'll like track to that target. So that definitely is the way to use it. Oh yeah, Paris. I don't know what's going on, man. That's really strange. Personally, I would try deleting it and, and then installing it again. But Sorry you're having trouble with that. Thanks for stopping by, Twinge. Jedi, thanks for stopping in. It was good to see you here. Uh, Lucas, I'll make the video as fast as I can, but it, these do take me some time because... Uh, I try to make them good quality, so it takes me quite a bit of work, but I'll get it out as fast as I can. Hopefully not more than a week, hopefully within a few days if possible, but I do have to go back to work on Monday, so. Yeah, Paris, I'll check Discord after this. Macro Cyan, glad you enjoyed the stream. Thanks for stopping by. And Ella, thank you for stopping by as well. And George. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, guys. I will leave the stream running for like a minute or two in case anybody's got a burning question they want to chat to me or to each other. But other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good weekend.